Pete Davidson got a not-so-great welcome when he went to a basketball game in Syracuse, New York this weekend. And it's all because three years ago, Pete said that the central New York City where he filmed a movie with Machine Gun Kelly was trash. Well, when Pete attended Syracuse University College's basketball game while wearing the college's native color orange, the crowd booed him during a timeout in the first half. But the boos didn't deter Pete at all. He was actually a very good sport about the booing since he laughed, clapped, and waved when he saw himself on the Jumbotron. Not too long after the incident, Syracuse.com reporter Mike Curtis quoted Pete, who reportedly said, quote, I don't hate Syracuse, and added that his past comments, quote, just didn't really come out the best way. Back in 2018, Pete and MGK filmed the movie Big Time Adolescence in the City. And that September, Pete said on Syracuse XM's The Howard Stern Show, dude, I was shooting this movie out in Syracuse. Syracuse, you know, it's trash. And he continued on to say, worse than Staten Island, the nicest hotel in Syracuse is like a f***ing Ramada. But that wasn't the last of Pete's disses to Syracuse. During an on-camera interview with Variety in 2019, Pete actually dissed the city yet again by saying it sucks, the whole town of Syracuse blows. Yikes. And during that same chat, he also claimed that when he was in Syracuse, quote, the cops, because there's nothing going on there, they were hunting me down the whole time. Back in August of 2018, the police captain of Manny Luz told Syracuse.com at the time that Pete was pulled over for violating vehicle and traffic law. The police captain also said that its officers did not target anyone, adding, when we stop a vehicle, we don't know who's in it. And according to the news outlet, Pete was not charged. However, his passenger and friend were both cited for unlawful possession possession of marijuana and pleaded guilty to the charge, which resulted in a fine. But it seems like these days be as nothing but love for the city because in January of 2021, Pete gave Syracuse a shout out by wearing an SU sweatshirt on SNL. 